the fast food story of the week. This is really interesting. So a chiropractor in Nebraska, he has been displaying a two-year-old McDonald's Happy Meal in his office as a way of hoping that it'll show his patients to eat healthier. Ugh. There it is. So that's two years old. That looks pretty, pretty similar to a, to a two-hour-old Happy Meal, doesn't it? I mean, that doesn't look that different, right? Yeah. This is completely the air. Is it? It's exposed, et cetera, et cetera. To be fair, the guy put it in one of those cake domes. Right, but it's not completely air. Right, that's not air. But let me that. say something. I made muffins once and put them in the <laughs> cake dome. Yeah. For like three weeks, they were fine. They were like still moist and fantastic. So I need to. Uh, Two years or something. So you would eat that? But I think this is more a commercial for the cake dome. So this is, <laughs> <laughs> ironically, he's selling cake domes on the side. Uh, well, I think there's a slight difference between the three-week-old muffin, and with all due respect to your muffins, in the cake dome than the, uh, you know, the two-year-old McDonald's. But we also have an image, this one's wild. Uh, this is a 14-year-old McDonald's Happy Meal. Uh, yeah. Now, 14 years old, it, by all logic, we would all think it would be rotted and molded and pretty fungied. much fungied and, give me another word, really Just odorous. odorous and decomposed and nastified, but uh, it is not. Now, uh, we should say here that McDonald's uh, has acknowledged that these burgers don't rot and claims the food are dehydrated so they don't rot in the absence of water, therefore claiming it isn't abundance of chemicals that's doing this. Now, we've also talked about McDonald's pink slime in the burgers, and last week we did the story about the yoga mat chemical that is in all the breads at all the fast food places. And every time we do a story on this, people in the comment section go crazy saying, well, we have chemicals in everything, and it's that you shouldn't have too much of the chemical, but if you want a little yoga mat chemical in your bread, then that's okay. <laughs> is that, that, so that argument, can we just, just talk about that argument? Yes, we have chemicals in everything, and we're constantly inhaling all kinds of things, and at one time people thought asbestos was okay, and blah, blah, blah. But shouldn't we have just like a basic rule that you don't need these things, even if, we, even if they're somehow sort of harmless now, that we don't need yoga mat chemicals that expand elasticity, and that's why they put it in the bread, and that's why the Subway bread is so fluffy. Ugh. Also, am, I, am I a wild radical when I say that? No, I, I mean, I've heard of like uh, metal fillings being in like Wheaties and stuff, like people yeah. holding magnets up to them. And I know. So what is accept, what, what's the acceptable level of uh, or that I'm eating. Right? <laughs> yeah, what is the example? But um, no, if the food doesn't decompose, I don't think I should put it in my body. Yeah. Um, that said, there was a receipt. Somebody was showing a receipt. Yeah. It cost like 79 cents 14 years ago for that hamburger. Mm. The receipt was decomposing. So basically, it would be <laughs> healthier to eat the receipt yeah. than it would to eat the patty. What, would, what do you say to these people who say science and it's if you don't have too much of the uh, chemical? I would like to see them dehydrate a piece of grade <laughs> A sirloin, you know, and see if that holds up as well as, as the pink slime post 14 years. Also, I'd like to meet this guy who kept a burger for 14 years. Right, you gotta wonder about pocket. that guy. Did he do it on purpose? No, he forgot. He was in his <laughs> pocket. And, but I drove by McDonald's yesterday. It said billions and billions served. And yeah. I'm thinking there are billions and billions of those hamburger patties in the universe somewhere. So it's like cloudy with a chance of hamburger, uh, a bit of Whoppers, or whatever yeah, yeah. they're called. Well, speaking of billions and billions served, there was also a thing that came out today that McDonald's has right now, I kid you not, 10 million extra pounds of chicken wings. They're mighty wings, they're not selling. So they have 10 million extra pounds. Is this just like a whole problem with our, it's our food source and why, and all the, the whole, fast, it's just like the whole socioeconomic thing and this is a big I don't mess. know why people aren't eating the mighty wing. <laughs> you like the mighty wing? Yeah, it's, it's the research. They didn't do the research enough to know that people wouldn't eat the mighty wing. Yeah, yeah. well the thing is, is, is McDonald's hears people saying, listen, you don't serve actual food in your Happy Meal. It is a miserable meal. <laughs> and, the, the, and so they try to give you, now their menus are bright and green. If you look at the McDonald's breakfast menu on the drive through window, everything's on plates which has never happened <laughs> to an Egg McMuffin. No right. one's like, oh, okay, let me put it on a plate and have a nice cup of coffee that I pour my, you know, McDonald's coffee into. Right. And then there's leafy greens now, as opposed to the shredded lettuce that they've had on things in the past. 
And so for the mighty wing, they wanted it to look like an actual animal part. And people are like, no, I, I, I'm shouldn't. fine. I don't care. I like that sometimes it's like a game when I bite the McNugget. When am I going to get that like gelatinous, unchewable ball from spinning the chicken in a circle and taking whatever clit sticks to the outside and putting it in a nugget Did you form. Say clit? That's what Did I you say clit? Whatever you clitoris, said, whatever. Clit it looks basically, like. Basically, I just want to eat chicken clitoris. <laughs> <laughs> and if we can make that happen. Actually, some of the Mighty Wings kind of do look, look like a big doesn't clit. Look like it, but, uh, <laughs> but it's like fast food that is slow to decompose. Yeah. So you get it in fast. It never and comes it, and out. It stays forever. <laughs> Can I share a personal story? Please. Because I, I don't think the clitoris story is personal enough. Um, <laughs> Baskin Robbins ice cream cake uh -oh. doesn't melt. I left my mint chocolate dome? sheep. No, oh, it's in the dome. <laughs> no, it's the sans dome. dome out of the dome in my kitchen. I like had a party and a cake, and I got drunk and went to sleep, and I came back the next morning to the kitchen, and it is just this this lard sponge it is it it yes it kind of deflates but that ice cream you would imagine would melt and it just does not wow so there's something you know it's so dehydrated it's dehydrated <laughs> right. ice cream <laughs> cream uh, all right so final thought on this so everyone always says well if you americans if you want your food cheap and you want it fast well then we have to put all this stuff in there and, that, and then they also say, well, if you know, the people that are on the lower end of the economic scale, that they can only afford this stuff. But I don't even think that argument makes any sense because a, doesn't a Happy Meal or a, a number one, a Big Mac meal, cost around seven or eight bucks at McDonald's? Am I ballparking so it? Like You're asking. So, I'm asking the wrong person? <laughs> you, yes. you McDonald's lover. It's about, yes, like about six fifty. I'm going to go okay. in and come out for six fifty. Really? So six fifty. Couldn't you, for six fifty, go to Trader Joe's? I know there's not Trader Joe's everywhere like there is at McDonald's, but get not only a healthy meal for 650 but more than one meal you can get a bag of kale Let's for Let's take a moment about Trader two. Joe's Am I, and uh, their and their and their sodium bricks that they everyone's the cheap stuff at Trader Joe's stuff. is frozen stuff that's the cheap stuff at Trader Joe's and that is not good for you But you could get a bag of kale at Trader Joe's yeah. for like 2 bucks and a wrap that's mm -hmm. basically put it on a plate. Put it on an actual <laughs> plate and eat that, and it would be the same price. So, but does that Dave, economic art? Am I just being? I'm being. Have a, you tried? I'm being an elitist. Have you tried to park at Trader Joe's? <laughs> I mean, it really is a question of convenience. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That that's why people drive through. I'll have number one. It's, it's so much easier than. Ooh, yeah. You just came up. So if Go Trader ahead. Joe's had the drive-through, we might have solved something here. I just think your problem is that you just told America to eat its vegetables. Yeah, bad <laughs> I, I think you're going to lose I that. apologize. I retract that whole thing. <laughs> I completely apologize about that.